Now well, it's time for us to look at sport. It was more of a procession back to office as Kipchoge Keino and his National Olympic Committee incumbents retained their seats during the polls held in a city hotel today. Athletics Kenya Chairman Isaiah Kiplagat was one of the casualties after failing to clinch the first vice chairman's position. Football Kenya Federation Chairman Sam Nyamwea withdrew from the race after alleging that the process was not fair and discriminatory. We have more. Some of us who are candidates were surprised that the same same exact officials who are candidates are the ones who are receiving our nomination papers, are the ones who are seeing this, uh, who, are, who are bringing what we call the problems. These are the acrimonious moments that characterized the National Olympics Committee of Kenya on Wednesday. A section of members took issue with the election process. Nemoa walked out of the hall but did not receive support from other federations. It was only the Taekwondo Federation that was barred from the polls as they had internal leadership wrangles. However, when the process began, there was a clear trend with their office bearers carrying the day. To two again at one votes against Kangati's 10. We want independent audit, forensic audit of accounts of NOC. David Okeo stepped down for his AK chairman Isaiah Plaga, who was vying for the first vice chairman but who lost to swimming federation chairman Ben Ekumbo. Ekumbo polled 24 votes against Kiplaga's form. Lifting federation's Pierce O'Chen was an opposer of the second vice chair after the withdrawal of Sam Nemoyam. Francis Paul was an opposer of the secretary general while Frida Shiroya defeated journalist Elena Shiveka to retain the treasurer's post. Other winners were Paul Rawal for women's representative, while former marathon record holder Paul Tergat floored swimmer Jason Dunford for the post of men's athletics representative. Former long-distance greats Tegla Lerupe and Catherine Dereba will sit in the executive committee together James Chacha, Steven Arabsoy, Anne Jambi and hockey chairman Risham Baines. For the first time, athletics Kenya will not have a representative in the committee. Personally, feel that we need a representative from the athletics. We need also a representative from the football. But we cannot dictate and we cannot uh, uh, pressurize or bring somebody let the people elect the person they want. There's a feeling by a section of members that change was needed at NOC. We need some level of constitutional change to bring sanity to the programs. If you look at uh, NOC as it is right now, yes, Kenya is doing well in terms of athletics, but athletics only is what you're talking about. And athletics, can you really attribute it to NOC? The incoming officers will be in office for four years. Reporting for KTN Sports today, Amazon Juma.